Hello fellow crafters, what's going on? Clickwell here and we are back in our chateau. I've been doing a little bit of thinking about our next project. Hmm. 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 I mean, I mean, hmm. And then it somehow dawned on me. We need a freaking super smelter. That's right, guys. This has been our furnace array since day one. Sag. But that is going to change today. We're going to build an ill mango design, a super smelter. And we're going to do that over at Industry Island. So let's head over there and check out the plot that we've already picked out to build this thing. Okay, back to Industry Island. There's our amethyst farm we finished in the last episode. I was able to uh, silk touch some of these crystals at different stages of growth and kind of use those uh, for decoration within the crystal uh, staircase here and stuff. You can see them down at the bottom there. Pretty cool. I like the way that turned out. Now, this is our next project. This is the Super Schmelter made by Il Mango. Like I said, it's going to be a 4 by 27 design. That's the footprint we're going to use. I'm going to dig that one hole into the ground because I'm going to have hoppers underneath of my furnaces and I want those to be hidden. So, this is the size of the footprint and here is the stuff we're gonna need to build here's your shopping list I'm gonna get uh, some chiseled deep slate because I think that's gonna be pretty cool to build with so I went and gathered some deep slate it was a bit of a, a bit of a grind working down there deep slate actually breaks up a lot slower than some of the other blocks so when you're gonna go and mine that stuff bring some patience okay next we're gonna bring some uh, some stairs with us this is more of a decoration thing but I'm gonna use a uh, deep slate tiles for that because it matches the the deep slate chiseled deep slate pretty well you're gonna need a ton of hoppers I'm gonna get at least two stacks I brought a few extra just in case and you're gonna need exactly 23 furnaces uh, about uh, 90 something uh, redstone dust I'm gonna bring a couple stacks here these are the exact amount of hoppers or repeaters and uh, comparators that you're gonna need I think you need about six chests I brought 10 and then four redstone torches that ought to cut it this is your shopping list let's get building Hey, okay guys, you know me, you know I'm not going to do a full block by block tutorial, you know, Il Mango already did that, he did a great job at it, so go watch his video, I'll leave that link below, but I did decide to kind of make sure you guys can see all the blocks that I'm placing here, maybe you want to follow along, and I wanted to make sure you could pause and rewind, that kind of stuff. So here we are, we're going to start building this bad boy. First thing I want to say is that I said 27 by 4 was the footprint. That's a mistake. 29 by 4 is actually the size of this thing. So if you want to go ahead and carve out that footprint, I want to make that adjustment now before you start building. Okay, big question. Why did I build this smelter? There's many options out there, and the one I've always built in the past, the one I'm super comfortable with, is Cubfan 135's smelter design. He uses uh, hopper minecarts uh, going over the, over the hoppers to sort of evenly distribute all the items he uh, cub fan is a genius you know i love cub fan um, but there was two problems with that farm that i didn't or that smelter that i didn't quite love uh, the first problem is that minecarts have a tendency to be a little jerky they kind of they kind of want to despawn occasionally when you leave a loaded chunk that the minecart is active in and uh, it doesn't happen every single time you know what i mean it's not it's not a problem that you have to deal with that often but i did not want to have to throw items into my smelter and then hang around here for it to finish i wanted to be able to fly around do other things then come back and uh, pick up all my smelted items. So this is the better way to do that. No more, uh, no more, no more worrying about minecarts. This thing only uses redstone, which is great. The second reason why I decided to use this one is the distribution setup is a little bit better. Sorry, Cub Fan, it's just a little bit better. With this, uh, with Cub Fan's design, occasionally you'll get a few extra, a few extra items kind of loaded into the first furnace, the first couple furnaces, just because that's the way that the, the hopper minecart system kind of works. Um, there are ways you can adjust that by adjusting the speed of it, but I just think that this is much more efficient, much better. Uh, this 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 system actually works by something called game ticks So game ticks is how long something happens or takes to happen in the game For example, let's say you want to smelt a piece of chicken That's gonna take exactly 200 game ticks every single time same thing for a piece of ore uh, You know, let's say you got some copper ore in there That's gonna take 200 game ticks to smelt So because of that this system takes that into consideration and make sure that it takes 200 game ticks for a new item to be added into the furnace so basically if we went over and looked inside of these furnaces we could watch one item completely smelt and leave the furnace and go into our our finished completion chest and then we'll see a new item pop into that furnace without any delay at all you won't even see a gap in there you'll basically just see one item in that furnace all the time because it's actually perfectly synced up where exactly gains exactly 200 game ticks it will add a new piece it's pretty amazing guys uh and kind of why this furnace works and why you or why this smelter works and why you need exactly 23 furnaces is what, what what we talked about earlier is because 
that is the exact math needed to make sure that all the items that you put in here get smelted without any sort of delay and without any inefficiencies. If you put 23 furnaces or 22 furnaces in, for example, and you didn't have as many, then you all, all of a sudden you would start to see more items piling up in the furnaces and becoming less efficient that way. And if you put less furnaces or too many furnaces in, you would see the uh, the uh, uh, the the fuel start to pile up in the furnaces, which isn't good either. Uh, what you just saw there as I was walking below those hoppers is I was checking inside each of those hoppers to make sure that there wasn't any items that had fallen in there, even into the minecart or into the uh, furnaces as well to make sure that there are no items that fall into there because that can kind of cause problems and cause the thing to stop working. And just a few seconds ago, I just missed it, but I placed a hopper down at the end of that, or uh, pardon me, I placed a comparator down at the end of that hopper line. That is the one block that I missed during this build. And if you were following along and you missed that comparator, be sure to place that into the end there. That is it, guys. That is the complete design. We are done. It is time to start making this thing look beautiful. And I think, oh, we placed some stairs at the bottom there. But what I really would like to do is play a little bit with walls. As you guys know, in 116, they, they adjusted walls a little bit, so now we no longer see those gaps inside of them, which is amazing, because now you can kind of use walls as a wall. I know that's silly, but now you can use walls as a wall like this, and uh, they actually have more depth. As you can see, we got the stairs along the bottom that comes out a little bit, and now we've got some nice depth that works into the into the wall there, and I kind of place them in nice areas like that. And it's not a full block, so you can use it in a lot of different different uh, different places. Let's have a little bit of a flyby and see our brand new schmelter. It is a super schmelter. It works extremely quickly. It is going to give us everything we need as quickly as possible. Thank you so much, Yo Mango. Be sure to go by, leave his, uh, his leave a like on his video if you liked this as well. Even if you don't check out his video, go leave him a like anyway. Say thanks for the uh, thanks for the content, Yo Mango. You can see I put some smoke stacks up top. I went and smelted some uh, some bricks at our house. That should be the last thing we ever smelt in those furnaces because this is going to be our new furnace, our new super schmelter. All right, now that that time lapse is out of the way, let's get up close and personal with this machine. See if we can get to know it a little bit better. Uh, basically, uh, it's a game tick design. So let me try and explain how that works. Um, you know what? First, let me show you this input system so you can kind of see how this uh, is all set up. We put our fuel in here on the right side where the coal is and our smeltable items into this uh, chest with the sand on it. I put the sand here because I'm going to be making a crap load of glass in this. This is going to be my glass machine. So, uh, you know what? In fact, actually, I went to that desert over there and grabbed myself a shulker box of sand just to test this thing out with. Let me just throw a little bit it in here to make sure that we can see it work boom there we go okay let's pop down here in front actually you know what while we're waiting for that to, to start up which we can watch right now as everything starts up at the same time Boom, just like that. Okay, cool. Let's go up here, and I want to show you one last thing. It's a small detail, but this wall here, this is very important to not put a full block. If you build this machine, it's not quite working. Come over and check and see if you put a full block here. It's right next to this uh, this redstone line, and if this is powered by that redstone line, it'll lock that hopper, and this whole thing won't work. So make sure not to use a full block there. Here we go. We are smelting away. This is working out great. Let me show you a little bit about that 200 game tick thing I was mentioning. This takes 200 game ticks to smelt this item. Like I said, ticks kind of work as a, as, a, as a timing. It's almost like seconds in the game. After that 200 game ticks uh, expires, the, the little redstone line that we put in the back has that 200 tick timing on it, and it will input a new sand after that expires every single time. Bam, just like that. There's not even a delay. So we know that this farm is extremely efficient. Sorry, this smelter is extremely efficient. It's not going to leave anything behind. It's not going to add any too many uh, too many items into the furnace and start to stack them up on top of each other. So this is fantastic. It's extremely smart. Thank you, Omango, for this design. I love it. Um, I would love to show you guys how fast this thing actually works. So let me go over to the output here. Uh, it's pretty amazing, but let's have a quick peek. Oh, crap. We are full. We are backing up in the system. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let me take some of this with me. And then that way we can show you a little bit clearer. Look at this. Look. This is how fast the farm, the, the furnace goes. You can just fill this thing up with, with uh, sand, walk away, come right back, and uh, you know what? You'll be, you'll have, uh, you'll have stacks and stacks of glass before you know it. I love this smelter. It's pretty amazing. Um, one thing I want to say while I'm in the front here is these two redstone torches are a little bit tricky. You can see I put walls on top of them. If you put a solid block on top, that becomes powered and messes with your little uh, machine on top, your little timing system on top there. Um, as well, if you put a uh, put a trap door in front of that, you'll notice it sort of goes into a uh, almost like a zero tick. Uh, uh, thing where it opens and it opens and closes the trapdoor super quick uh, so you want to basically avoid that don't put anything in front of these uh, these torches unless uh, you want to put like a non-powered block or something in front that would work fine and if we pop on top of the uh, of the smelter here you can see the final little uh, decorative build we did we added some stone blocks and to kind of look like uh, look like smokestacks a little bit I think these are amazing these little bricks uh, these little brick stairs and uh, we put the uh, the soul furnace or uh, the soul uh, fires inside to really really make these things look like uh, look like they're cooking away cooking us up some glass it took us a long time to build the smelter but we picked the right design and I could not be more happy 
And that is going to do it for two day guys we got the schmelter done behind us we are schmelting glass like nobody's business which is amazing because we're going to use all of this glass in our wither skeleton farm that's right if you want to see that video be sure to leave me a subscription leave a like if you like the video and of course come by twitch say hi in chat i love to meet you guys stay well stay safe i love you tons peace Okay, bye-bye.